The Lullaby of Life is a sound-based puzzle game, currently free from Prime Gaming via the good old game store until the 17th of July 2024. I'd say it's a sound-based puzzle game, but it isn't really. Not in a sense that you have to listen to the game audio to be able to play it. All you second monitor watchers out there, you can listen to YouTube without worry. So, what is it you do in this game? Well, there's a story about um, bringing life to the universe, I think. You definitely see a centre of planets come into life, which I don't think is scientifically accurate, but I was playing a blue guitar pleck like creature with floating googly eyes, so what do I know about science? The graphics for the characters in the game are pretty cutesy. You might have guessed that from me saying they had googly eyes. And there's a simple, clean style for the environments that you're floating around in. Each of the seven levels have a slightly different look to them. One in particular is set in the void of space and it's very dark and pretty empty feeling. A soothing, very chilled out background track plays underneath the musical sound effects. And it's quite a pleasant environment to be in. The game has you play that blue wedge with floating eyes, born into the universe, on the first level, and you get blessed with the ability to make a musical note. What that then translates to is a series of puzzles that require you to learn more notes, recruit friends with notes that you can't get, and use all of that musical ability to open up new planets and ultimately wake up every planet core until the universe is teeming with life. The puzzle starts simple. You're opening the barrier with the note you've just learnt. It then moves on to an introduction of how your notes can move through the environment. As you play one, an expanding sphere of note moves out from you. They can pass through gaps in the environment that you can't get through. They can travel along string-like glowing filaments. Or they can even activate a tractor beam-like ability when you find an orange guitar pick and it lets you drag it around. Pretty useful music. The obstacles you encounter typically need a few notes to be played in a specific order, but that becomes less straightforward as the puzzles get harder. Things get more complicated towards the end of the game, needing you to pick up like four companions that trail behind you and you need to navigate them around hazards that reset them back to where you found them if they don't avoid it. Each new mechanic is introduced with a simple example and at a good pace generally. That stops the puzzles from getting stale and I'm going to stop describing them there because encountering and overcoming new puzzle mechanics is the whole point really. Fair warning the game isn't just chill puzzle solving. There's an elongated chase sequence and there's also timing puzzles, both of which need reasonably quick reactions. So if you struggle with that, that might prove to be a bit of a deal breaker. There's no way to skip those elements. There are 12 optional characters to collect for an achievement, which usually just requires a thorough exploration of each level. I did find that I missed one in particular by completing the level first, at which point all of your companions disappear and you can't get them back. Unfortunately I needed them to get the optional character on that level. So if you want the achievement, don't wake up the core until you've got both characters. Completing the game took about three hours and I spent another half hour or so to replay the level to pick up that rogue character that I hadn't got. I am missing one achievement, but I'm going to keep missing it because it requires the game to be completed in under two hours, and I'm not really up for playing through the game again. Having said that, I did enjoy the lullaby of life. The puzzles were a bit on the easy side on the first few levels, and were starting to get a bit repetitive, but new mechanics and harder puzzles were introduced just in the nick of time. There are quite a few fun puzzles that I did have to actually think about, though none that really stumped me. I enjoyed working out what the game wanted me to do, 
and figuring out how to do that. I replayed a few levels a couple more times each to make sure I found everything, which I think is a good endorsement for the game. The Lullaby of Life is a charming, chill puzzle game that I definitely recommend to puzzle fans while it's free, as long as you don't have any issues with that quick reactive play I spoke about earlier. Relatively simple mechanics, but fun. Okay, now that I've brought sentient life to another universe, that's my Thursday done. I'm off. Thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you soon. Goodbye.